Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be checking out something brand new for the very first time. I'm coming to you from the inaugural Lackawanna County Heritage Fair located here at Montage Mountain Ski Resort just on the border of Scranton and Music. It starts today, May 29th, it runs through Sunday, June 2nd, and we're going to show you what you can expect to see if you decide to come here for yourself. The gates open at 12 p.m. and the rides start at 4 p.m., but we're going to head inside pretty soon when the gates open and see what this fair has to offer. It's $10 a mission, which includes all the rides and the water park down below, which is an incredible deal. So we're going to see if it's worth the price or not, see what kind of food they have, see what kind of entertainment they have, and just to uh, give you a good idea what you can expect if you decide to come here with your family. Also, too, once the rides start later on, it will give you some action of those, and we may even take a ride on some of them, too. So if you're ready, come along with me. Okay, I wanted to explain, too, that they are advertising this as being the first fair for Lackawanna County. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Back in the old days, there may have been a fair, but at least in recent years, as long as I've been around, there hasn't been an actual fair dedicated for Lackawanna County. The only thing we had close to this was an amusement park called Rocky Glen Park, situated literally five minutes away from here. That closed in the late 80s, around 87, 88. And since then, there hasn't been anything as far as a big a draw or attraction for music or Lackawanna County itself. The only thing we had was Montana Brothers Amusements that would bring their carnival through uh, that lasted until the early 90s, but that was only maybe a dozen or so rides. Nothing on the scale of this. And being up here is an ideal location because there's plenty of room, plenty of parking. You got a centralized location. And on top of that, you have the water park too, which is included. Water park alone, you know, it's nice to come up and enjoy. But when you have a two for one included with your admission, that makes it even better. And also, prior to the fair starting, they were running a special on Facebook where you could pick up your ticket online for a special of $8. So typically, when you come to the gate here, it is $10, but for a limited time, they were offering tickets for $8 with 50 cents processing fee. So for $8.50, I got my admission ticket, and it's gonna grant me permission, I'm sorry, admission all day here for the fair. It runs from 12 p.m. until I think 9 or 10 p.m. today, and then the weekend we'll have later hours. So we're gonna be waiting for everything to get situated here. They're gonna be doing the open ceremony over here. I will include some of that, as I mentioned. And then once the gates open, we'll walk around, see what kind of vendors are here, rides, displays, entertainment, food, and so on and so forth. And later on tonight, as I mentioned, once the rides start, I'll get you some footage of those, see how they perform. And if they're not too crazy or spinny, I'll take you on some of those as well. So stay tuned. We'll be getting underway momentarily and hopefully enjoy the rest of the video. Ladies and gentlemen, it was, um, it was an amazing day. Uh, it was a 2014 commissioner's meeting. And I had a poster made up saying that we were gonna have a fair in Lackawanna County. And I unveiled it and my uh, the two other commissioners were like taken back by it. They didn't expect that I was gonna come up with an idea of doing a fair. Um, the whole idea was just another quality of life opportunity for people to go out and enjoy their families. Have fun. You know, do things with your kids that you might not have the opportunity to do with them. Bring the grandparents out, bring the grand great grandparents out. And the big thing is it's affordable. For $10, you get to go on the water slides, you got all the rides, and all the musical entertainment for $10. It's the first fair of the fair season. Why not Lackawanna County? You know, at the time when I was thinking about the idea, the concept of it, I was thinking about Wayne, Milford, Luzerne, and it got to a point where I went to a couple of fairs and I thought to myself, we could absolutely do this. This could really, really happen. And the big thing was, the big concern was, a lot of these places had infrastructure already built, just purely for the fair. Well, that would cost a lot of money. So the idea was, where could we put it, which is the most visible area, where entertainment is done all the time, where's that venue? Montage Mountain. We have our Apple Theater over to the right. We have Montage Water Slide Park here. We have our AAA World Champion Rail Riders just down the road. Good times are made to be had on Montage Mountain. This is just another quality of life event for our citizens to partake in. So I'd just like to welcome everyone to the first annual Lackawanna County Heritage Fair. Gate crew through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, 
say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land Okay, just got through the admission. I have my wristband now, so we're all set to go. Now this is going to be an initial early walkthrough. It is officially open now, but not everything is set up and ready to go yet. They're kind of still getting everything prepared and finalized, but we'll be able to give you an each, at least an initial look to show you what rides are here, games, concessions, vendors, entertainment, so on and so forth. And at 4 p.m., most of the things will be in action then. So once I show you the later on footage, we'll be okay to uh, get a better understanding as what is going to be taking on at the fair here when you come up. We have advertised over 20 rides. There's a good selection of kiddie rides, family rides, some thrill rides, stuff like this that I will not ride, but it is here for the thrill seekers. So one of our vendors here, we got some tater tots, funnel cake fries, meatball sandwiches. I mean, a wide selection, good variety of foods here. Here's one of the crazier thrill rides called Sky Master. Another one I will not be riding. It's like they're still preparing it too. So I got some other unique food items here. I'm not really familiar with grape leaves, baked kippa. Meat pies though do sound appetizing. Over here you get your Chippewa boots. Dickies and some other personalized items, collectibles. We got some live entertainment here as well. Hope they can hear me, but they're still, you can see, prepping for rides, for games. Thing that even like a small roller coaster here, they're assembling. We got the sky slide. I should be able to do that. It's kind of the first time for me to be in the midst of a, a, a fair or carnival that's kind of still setting up. So it's get to kind of see a behind the scenes type of thing. Now we got our famous Judy Joe's ice cream here too. They're located at Muzik. You know, they have incredible ice cream for at a very good price. And we got of course the little jungle gym here. Welcome to the jungle. So some of the areas we're going to have to wait till later, they're still setting up with the games. This is like the games row. Rides are all over here. So we'll see more of it later on. Okay, so we just came from that direction. We're going to head over here now and see what we can find down this way. So right in this shot here, we got two Ferris wheels. We got a little Ferris wheel, as it says on the sign, and then it's like an Eli wheel over there. And right in between here, we do have a carousel. And you can see right there, as I zoom in, it is S&S Amusements. It looks like there are some other ride manufacturers here too, Michaela's Rides. And I think another one, so it might be a combination of amusement providers. That's the old school Ferris wheel, so hopefully we can get a ride on that later. 
And of course we have Dumbo here as well. And in the background behind Dumbo, we do see some bumper cars, which you could probably take a ride on those later. Yeah, this is a uh, big Eli wheel. These are kind of special Ferris wheels, not like the modern ones you see today. It has all the old uh, fluorescent colored tube lights on it, so it should look pretty unique at nighttime. Make for some good photography. So I just got confirmation that they do allow single riders, so we definitely will be taking at least one spin on this later on today. And here we got teacups. And we can see in the background the Himalaya ride, which they're still setting up. So we'll get you a shot of it over here. That's another ride I won't be riding, but I know it's always popular with the younger crowd. You can see down here, just lots more games, some food vendors mixed in, some more rides. So we'll get a better idea later on tonight, this evening, how it's all gonna look and get a real feel for it. But this is kind of like an early preview sneak peek. You can see a lot of the stands aren't even open yet. The fair is officially open now, it is noon. But, you know, being the very first time here, being the very first day, they're still not totally prepared for everything here. We got Manning's ice cream here with milkshakes. Oh, we got a taste our balls. Deep fried chicken, bacon ranch balls, deep fried buffalo chicken cheese balls, and bacon cheeseburger balls. Probably be trying those. I think I've actually had these before at the Bloomsburg Fair. So, most likely to have some later and I'll let you know how they are. Okay, so that is the main part of the fairgrounds, but there is more to this, as I mentioned with the water park. After you walk back out of the gate, you're gonna head back over to the main stairs over here, which is located near the zip line. And this guy will be doing some tree carving later on which he has some pretty awesome pieces on display. So once you see this guy stand here, oh, I like that fisherman. Follow the sign down here, more food, more rides, more fun. And this is gonna be basically part two of the Heritage Fair, which is the main water park down here. And once we get down the steps here, I'll give you a nice view of it. This is included with your admission for $10. And I'll walk around and show you what water rides and attractions are here. But you'll see the chairlift over there. That's the one you'll take up to ride the zip line or just to take a leisurely ride on it, which I'll be doing later on. But right down in front of us is the main lodge. But let's get down, get a closer look at it and show you what you can expect to find. And if you decide whether or not you should bring your bathing suit, which I highly encourage you to do because not every day you could go to a water park and a fair for a total fee of $10. So those are the steps we just came down. At the bottom here you'll find Kona ice. You get your very own, you actually flavor your very own Italian ice. This is the main lodge here. And right in front of us is at least my favorite part of the water park, the Lazy River. I had a season pass here last year and spent a good number of days throughout the summer lounging on this still kind of cool out right now it hasn't really been that warm to get the water warm but the park is open though as long as you don't mind a little bit of a chilly water especially up on top of a ski resort it won't be that bad for you they got plenty of seating down here umbrellas lounge chairs picnic tables so a little bit of everything for you whether you just want to grab a tube and float around or simply sit on the wayside and enjoy the views I do have a nice little deck area here with some outdoor seating. And if you follow this pathway around, you will find access to the lift chair and the other slides over here, which we'll get a look at momentarily. But just to give you a look at it, it is pretty beautiful and serene. And the water park just opened uh, not too long ago for Memorial Day weekend. so. Could be one of the first people to come here and 
taking the fun. Okay, so if you are planning on doing the zip rider or just taking a ride in the chairlift, you will come right past the Lazy River here. And they have a little embankment here, and this is your chairlift. There's a sign down there stating zip rider. And this is where you board, and I'm bored. And I believe the zip rider is an additional fee for that. I don't think it's included with the admission, but I don't think it's that expensive. It's maybe five or ten dollars. I'm I'm just guessing here, but I know it's nothing too extreme, but if you're the thrill-seeking type, I know it's definitely something worth taking because it takes you basically from the top of the mountain all the way down and you finally end at the top of the steps by the parking lot there. So it's a good distance and you get to basically soar over the ski slopes and part of the water park itself. So this is the Pro Racer Slide. This is where you take a mat over here, walk up to the top, and you and your friends or family members could race down. And it's a lot of fun. I've been on this several times and I usually make it pretty far down here and you get a uh, basically a wave of water in your face but definitely a lot of fun to do it with your friends and family because you get to see who makes it down first so here's the mats you grab up they're lightweight foam mats and once you reach the top you pick your lane and there's usually someone working up there and they'll tell you when to head down and as you can see when you get down here you do hit a pretty good size depth of water which definitely soaks you so that's a lot of fun so ahead of us here we do have the alpine slides these are three different slides you could take down take a short walk up the walkway and there's two open slides and the dark blue one is completely enclosed and the blue one in my opinion is the fastest of the three but they're all a lot of fun very popular to ride these when you're here and the pool itself is not very deep i think maybe three four feet at the most and there's a lifeguard at the top and bottom to assist you but definitely you know, probably one of the more funner things to do here is short, but in that short amount of time, it is a lot of fun. So it looks like they're going to have some musical acts down here. And once you pass that, come to, I think it's the Polar Bear Plunge, which is like the kitty area. A little waiting pool area where they have some water features and some little slides. And I think it's only a foot deep, so... Definitely kid oriented. So this looks like, uh, I don't know what this is. Egg trivia. I guess it's something about farm animals maybe. Maybe like a little educational thing or a little show they put on. So we'll have to check that out later. So back here is one of the more popular attractions as well. This is the wave pool, which is basically a giant swimming pool that, as you can see, makes its own man-made waves. They go up periodically and they do make different style waves with different heights, different you know designs. And it is a zero entry pool, so you can walk right in, no steps. And it gets up to I think six feet deep back by the rope where the waves are generated. And right past the wave pool, you'll find probably the largest and most exciting of the water rides here. And I know it as basically the funnel ride. So this is the Tundra Tornado. And you actually have a little viewing platform up here. We'll give you a look at it. But basically you take one of those tubes. The green ones are for two people. Yellow are for four. You do have to carry it up here, which is kind of a pain. But the ride down, though, is a lot of fun. And I'll show you what you have to go through, which makes it all worth it. So once you're right on top there, they do send you through the tube here. You make your way down and eventually you open up in the mouth of the funnel here and basically slosh back and forth until you make it down there into the pool. So it's pretty fast, pretty exciting, and also you get pretty wet at the same time. So 
Hopefully later on there'll be some people doing it and I'll be able to get you some footage of it. So just over here we do have a little display from the Electric City Aquarium down in Scranton with some little display tanks. So let's take a closer look and see what they have. How are you doing? Oh, look at these things, blue frogs. I never saw those before. Those are really beautiful. That's a pretty big guy. And my least favorite, variable king snake. I'll curl up down there. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this portion right now. Until later on this evening when they do open up more of the rides, attractions, games, and entertainment. And we'll be showing you the rides, riding some of the rides, doing the chairlift, trying some of the foods, maybe playing a couple games, and see what else they have to offer. So with the magic of editing, I'll show you a quick video montage and then I'll be right back. So it's approximately 5.45 right now, later on in the day. Came back up to film the remainder of my video and a pretty severe thunderstorm just came through. And I'm waiting it out to see if the rain's gonna stop and to see if the fare is still up or not. Because right now, by looking over, it's hard to tell, but none of the stands are open, none of the rides are operating. And there's not many cars in the parking lot. So I'm gonna wait it out and get any uh, official determination as to what's going on with this otherwise if it's not open i'll be wrapping up the video after this clip otherwise if it is open i will have my video montage as i promised earlier and we'll continue on with the video okay guys this is a continuation from yesterday as we saw we got rained out when i returned to film the rest of this video and thankfully i returned today and they allowed readmission with the wristband because it did close and the rides were not operational so I'm back here at opening time, which is 12 p.m. And like usual, nothing is really open as far as rides or games. They don't open until four o'clock, but we do have more access now. Everything is put away, assembled, and ready to go for later on tonight. So I'm gonna take you for a walkthrough now just to show you what we missed yesterday. And hopefully, they are calling for more rain, but hopefully it's only brief and the fair will remain open. I can come back tonight, show some of the rides, Go on some of the rides and show you what it actually looks like in full operation so let's continue on okay so straight ahead is kind of where we left off we were kind of had to stop at this point and turn around because they were still assembling rides and games but pretty much everything is assembled now i think except for one ride they're working on you can see the crane there in the background that's like a little 360 coaster thing but quasar is here the rest of the rides and stands are open. Now down Games Row here, they are fully ready to go, but as I mentioned, nothing is open yet. So it seems like only some of the food stands and uh, private vendors are open for noon. But if you're looking to play games, go on rides, do the zip line, the chairlift, you have to wait till 4 p.m. So from what I could tell, you do have a, a large number of games here. As we saw, a large number of rides. So 
I am kind of excited to see how it's going to look later on once everything is put together and open and ready to go for the public. This is the ride here they're working on. They do have the scooters, better known as the bumper cars. We got a peek at those yesterday. They do have live music though playing throughout the day, which is nice. And there are some food vendors open. So at least it's not a complete ghost town here when you come. There is something to eat, some stuff to look at. Here's another right here, which is like the, uh, it's like, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, like a hand glider thing when you're laying on it. And they finally got the Himalaya put together. They were working on that all day yesterday, so it's nice to see that it's put back together. Another thing you notice too is most of the rides do have signs saying tickets, but again, when you buy your wristband, that includes all the rides, so you don't need to buy any additional tickets. Again, most of these stands are closed. Some of them are open here and there. We'll take a walk around the other side and see if anything else has opened up from, or looks different from yesterday. Now, one thing I just noticed, it says, no single riders, but when I talked to the girl that was cleaning the chairs yesterday, she said they do allow single riders, so curious to see where they're gonna stand on that, because I was hoping to take a ride on it. So yesterday we started our trip down this lane here. Looks like Carl Russo's cafe is setting up shop in here. We did see the tater tot stand yesterday. And it looks like the rest of the rides are fully assembled, such as Skymaster and whatever else they were working on. Doesn't look like all the stands though are fully staffed or stocked up, but maybe that'll change. I know the weather put a damper on things yesterday. Okay guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Unfortunately, we weren't able to return to get the footage that I was looking to get. Two days in a row now, I went back after 4 p.m. when the rides would be operational, games would be open, and everything else would be open to the general public, and weather just doesn't want to cooperate. It rained yet again, and I'm going to be out of town the rest of the weekend for the rest of their day, so I won't be able to get up there to try it out once more. I will say they did honor my wristband, though, from the first day because they did close due to bad weather, which was nice of them because I wasn't sure how that was gonna be handled. But they did offer another wristband, but just again, I wasn't able to use it simply because the weather didn't cooperate. So my opinion is, I think it has the potential to be a pretty good fair. Being their first year, they are kind of getting used to everything. It was a little disappointing that, you know, for noontime, a lot of the things are closed, even though the fair is open. Most of the stands are closed as far as games. A lot of the vendors are closed. There's only maybe a dozen things that were open. So, I mean, it was okay to go through to walk around, but within 10 minutes, you're basically through it. After 4 p.m., it's probably gonna be a different story when the games are open, rides are open. And obviously, you know, on good weather for the water park, so that, that didn't cooperate either. But I was hoping to do some rides, hoping to do the chairlift, hoping to try some foods, play some games. But I think it is worth the value of $10, at least for the water park alone, if you go up for that. If you go on a nice day after 4 p.m., you will get your rides included with your wristband, which is nice. So I think the potential is there to be a good fare. I'm hoping it gets better as the years go on and they get into a good routine. But for the first day, first two days, weather definitely did play a factor, but I can't hold that against them. That's out of their control. But I was hoping for more. I did have high expectations. I wasn't let down, but a little disappointed, I could say. But but if you guys do end up going when the rides are open, comment down below. Let me know how you think it was, if it was really worth the $10 as far as rides and the water park. I think it's a decent value. But if you don't do rides, you know, you could do just the water park or vice versa. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to find out more about my future adventures, you can find me on Facebook and you can check out my merchandise shop, which will be linked down below in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video.